Christ is risen. Alleluia. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Praying on this land, we acknowledge the Narunga people, traditional custodians upon whose ancestral lands we meet, and pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging. We acknowledge the deep feelings of attachment and relationship of Aboriginal people to country. Well, good morning and welcome to our celebrations here on the York Peninsula of South Australia for the fifth Sunday of Easter. Today we are reminded that Jesus has gone before us to prepare a place and we celebrate that great news. Our service follows the pattern. Yellow parts are for congregational participation. And our hymns, a lot of lovely hymns today too, are there for you to sing. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy this time with God. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God's kingdom, now and forever. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. 
Ye shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Jesus said, This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Give us grace to love one another, to follow in the way of his commandments, and to share his risen life, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7, beginning at verse 55. But filled with the Holy Spirit, he gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they covered their ears and with a loud shout all rushed together against him. Then they dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. And the witnesses laid their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he died. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
reading from the first letter of Peter, chapter 2, beginning at verse 11. Beloved, I urge you as aliens and exiles to abstain from the desires of the flesh that wage war against the soul. Conduct yourselves honourably among the Gentiles, so that though they malign you as evildoers, they may see your honourable deeds and glorify God when he comes to judge. For the Lord's sake, accept the authority of every human institution, whether of the emperor, emperor as supreme, or of the governors as sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to praise those who do right. For it is God's will that by doing right you should silence the ignorance of the foolish. As servants of God, live as free people, yet do not use your freedom as a pretext for evil. Honour everyone, love the family of believers, fear God, honour the emperor. Slaves, accept the authority of your masters with all deference, not only those who are kind and gentile, gentle, but those who are harsh. For it is to your credit if, being aware of God, you endure pain while suffering unjustly. If we endure when you are beaten for doing wrong, where is the credit in that? But if you endure when you have, when you do right and suffer for it, you have God's approval. For this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you should follow in his steps. He committed no sin, and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was abused, he did not return abuse. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but he entrusted himself to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that free from sins we might live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. For you were going astray like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. Without the way, there is no going. Without the truth, there is no knowing. Without the life, there is no growing. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's what Jesus said. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John, chapter 14, beginning at verse 1. 
Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on you do know him, and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I will tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask for anything, I will do it. For the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Let us together affirm the faith of the Church. We, we believe, believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through his cross. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the world and for the church. A prayer for our diocese. God of hope and love, you have called us to be the body of Christ. Inspire us in the Diocese of Loughborough to worship with joy and energy, serve with compassion and be welcoming of others in our communities so that we all know the good news of Jesus to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honour and glory forever. Amen. Gathered as God's own people, let us now pray for the needs of the world and for the work of the church. We respond to the bidding in faith we pray with, Lord, hear our prayer. That the body of Christ in every culture will witness to the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. In faith we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we bring before you the needs of those ministry units in our diocese who are searching for a priest to serve them. Strengthen their bonds of faith and love. May they be sure of your presence among them, that this time of interregnum may still be a time of growth, hope and Christian mission. In faith we pray, Lord, hear our prayer that we may fulfil our commitment to truly be the people of God, called through baptism to participate in Christ's mission and seek to discover and give witness to the power of Christ in all areas of human activity. In faith we pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that governments will serve the needs of citizens with openness and charity, that as a nation we might honour those who have served our nation. We remember Charles, uh, crowned as king yesterday. In faith we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That the young and old sharing the Easter sacraments will continue to dwell in Christ's love. In faith we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That we might have seasonable weather and those struggling with the aftermath of natural disasters will see their basic needs met and be encouraged for the future. In faith we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are lonely and sad will experience God's friendship through others 
that those struggling in their faith will know Jesus as their way and life. In faith we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That this assembly proclaim God's vision of light and peace in the face of darkness and despair. In faith we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be received into the living arms of our God, that their relatives and friends receive consolation and healing. In faith we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Wise and loving God, during these Easter days, you bring new life into the world through the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Accept our prayers and sustain our deeds and words by your Spirit. Almighty God, you have promised to hear our prayers. Grant that what we have asked in faith we may by your grace receive through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been offered for us. Therefore we come to celebrate the festival. Let us confess our sins in penitence and faith with a sincere and a true heart. Merciful God, our Maker and our Judge, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. We repent and are sorry for all our sins. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us to love and obey you in the newness of life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, who has promised forgiveness to all who turn to him in faith, pardon you and set you free from all your sins, strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. His Spirit is with us. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Father, I place into your hands the things that I can do. Father, I place into your hands the times that I've been through. Father, I place into your hands the way that I should go for I know I always can trust you Father I place into your hands my friends and family Father I place into your hands the things that trouble me Father I place into your hands the person I would be For I know I always can trust you Father, we love to seek your face We love to hear your voice Father, we love to sing your praise And in your name rejoice Father, we love to walk with and in your presence rest For we know We always can trust you Father, I want to be with you And do the things you do Father, I want to speak the words That you are speaking to Father, I want to love that you will draw to you For I know that I am one with you For I know that I am one with you For I know that I am one with you
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have these gifts to share. Accept and use our offerings for your glory and for the service of your kingdom. Blessed be God for ever. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. For glory and honour be yours always and everywhere, mighty Creator, ever-living God. We give you thanks and praise for your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who by the power of your Spirit was born of Mary and lived as one of us. By his death on the cross and rising to new life, he offered the one true sacrifice for sin and obtained an eternal deliverance for his people. And now we give you thanks that you raised him to life triumphant and exalted him in glory. By his victory over death, the reign of sin is ended. The new day has dawned and the broken world is restored. And we are made whole once more. Therefore, with angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name ever praising you and, and saying God, we thank you for these gifts of your creation, this bread and wine, and we pray that by your word and Holy Spirit, we who eat and drink them may be partakers of Christ's body and blood. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, and when he had given you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup and again giving you thanks he gave it to his disciples saying drink from this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Therefore we do as our Saviour has commanded proclaiming his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. His mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming again, we celebrate with this bread and this cup is one perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Renew us by your Holy Spirit. Unite us in the body of your Son and bring us with all your people into the joy of your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, with whom and in whom, in the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father, in songs of never-ending praise. 
blessing and honour and glory and power are yours for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. We who are many are one body, for we all share in the one bread. Come, let us take this holy sacrament of the body and blood of Christ in remembrance that he died for us and feed on him in our hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The body of Christ and the blood of Christ.
giver of life. In the breaking of the bread, we know the risen Lord. May we who celebrate this holy feast walk in his risen life and bring new life to all creation. Father, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Almighty God, who has redeemed us through the resurrection of Christ, who has raised us to newness of life through the waters of baptism and has brought us out of slavery into everlasting freedom, give you joy and peace in faith and bring you to your eternal inheritance and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. I danced in the morning when the world was begun. I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun. I came down from heaven and I danced on the James and John, they came with me and the dance went on. Dance then, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be. And I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. And they stripped and they hung me on high And they left me there on a cross to die Dance then, wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he And I'll lead you all wherever you may be And I'll lead you all in the dance, said he Peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. In the name of Christ, Alleluia, Alleluia.